Hey loves, Jay here from Omnipresent Tarot, your home for self-discovery and spiritual connection. This is going to be a general reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Be sure to stick around to the end where I will pull a special spirit message that is what to expect for the month of September, okay? We're going to hop right into your most recent energy. I'm feeling for you here, Cancer, that um, some of you may be in a position of moving, relocating somewhere. Some of you are even getting a dog as well. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm picking up that energy too. I'm feeling um, also this energy of sort of going in circles uh, for some of you. This could be in a relationship. This could um, be at a job or some of you are just in this place right now where you're feeling that um, there's a lot on your plate. There's a lot to be done. There's a lot of responsibility. There's a lot going on for you here, um, Cancer. So let's see what's going on here in your most recent energy. I am pulling the Queen of Swords for you. All right. We're pulling this Queen of Swords energy. Some of you could be dealing with someone, someone who could be a nagging person most recently. Um, someone, maybe this could been, have been a boss, a mother, maybe even a wife for some of you could also show up as a husband. It's not gender specific, but maybe someone's telling you about yourself or you're, you know, having to reveal your truths, your desires as well. So most recently you've been in this place of feeling like you need to sort of protect your space, protect your energy, protect yourself from this person because it feels like a lot of energy being thrown at you. But this is also Spirit's way of saying some of you have had to learn how to be a little bit more open-minded. So maybe people are sort of giving you uh, constructive criticism that is opening up your eyes to expanding more and living in your truths. So that is what you probably, some of you may have been in in the most recent past here um, as, as having to deal with someone or even having to become independent if you have been a dependent, uh, if you have been relying on someone else and, and now you're in this place of stepping out on your own. This could be part of the reason why some of you are moving, you're transitioning, you could be moving out from, you know, a you know, as a roommate situation, could be moving away from a partnership, but there is this sense of independence that some of you are really um, embarking upon here. Your overall energy for the month of September, we have the Ten of Cups here. So this is about um, coming together with family. So I feel, I feel also that some of you may be relocating closer to family. You may be at a phase in your life where where you're wanting to sort of um, commune and um, you know establish a stronger foundation between you and your family as well. This could also be a season for you guys, or this season in September here is a season for you to um, you know have family reunions or you're reuniting with someone as well. But this is uh, really telling me that there is a harmony. Okay, so whatever this is that in the most recent energy that some of you have currently experienced here. It feels like there's a transition into a happier time here with the Ten of Cups, um, your your energy here. So you guys are in this place of, um, you know, this domestic bliss here, um, which I like that energy for you. I'm going to go back and um, I may clarify a couple cards just to get a little bit more clarity around, around this. But I am sensing uh, a lot of peacefulness that is coming up for you, a lot of security and stability. This could also be on the financial front as well, but this feels like an emotional thing. So um, some sort of connection that you have with someone building a stronger foundation. And again, this could just be family members. This could be friendships as well. Okay, so it's going to show up different, differently for everyone. But this month is going to be this month of really coming together and setting this clear strong foundation, bringing happiness and peace into your life, okay? And I'm sure that's a relief for some of you who may have been going through a challenging time, okay? So um, some obstacles that you may face this month. I have the Queen of Cups energy, okay? So we have the Queen of Swords and we have the Queen of Cups here, okay? So we're talking about air, air energy, so the logical, analytical energy, and then also emotional energy here with the Queen of Cups, which is your energy. But that my Queen of Cups card is a Pisces energy. Some of you could be dealing with another water sign. Pisces could be in your chart, but this overall is your energy here of um, really in this this place here of this obstacle of you know being faced with whoever this person is okay this could be a separate person outside of that queen of swords but maybe this could be one person that embodies both of these you know very direct and very truthful very in your face but um this queen of cups is is saying that some of you are 
either you're having a hard time parenting right now um, or or this could be coming up for you or there is um, you're needing to um, create a stronger foundation this is why that ten of cups is coming up as your overall energy saying that that is what you're striving for some of you may be struggling a little bit in a relationship whether that is um, based off of you know loyalty your loyalty your partner's loyalty are you needing more um, emotional support and, and nurturing in your um, in your relationship spirit is also saying to um, be a little bit more compassionate with yourself and and others as well. Okay, I'm going to pull um, a, another card around that. Why is this Queen of Cups here for Cancer? We have the Hierophant. So yeah, I do feel like this is this could definitely be um, a, a marriage that we are talking about here, so, or a you know a strong com, you know strong connection that you have with someone here that you may be faced um, faced to faced with um, maybe even seeking counsel so that you can um, better this relationship, okay? So if you are, you know, like I said, you are cancer in general, you're a very, very sensitive person, very, um, very nurturing, very loving, this energy here for you, but it feels like there is either another side or someone is challenging challenging you or battling you in some sort of way and you guys are needing some sort of counsel okay so that may be an obstacle that come up for you that comes up for you during um, this month you know maybe your beliefs are challenged just maybe your relationship your finances are challenged and it's causing a bit of a rift in um, in a relationship okay so Let's see where you're headed this month. We have the Ace of Cups energy here is where you're headed. This is a new relationship. So if you are currently in a relationship, I feel like you rediscover um, why you love each other <laughs> in this relationship. If you're a single, this is a new relationship that is on the horizon for you that you're headed towards. Some of you could also be conceiving this month too. So if that is something that you do not want, Make sure that you are tracking, you get your ovulation tracker, okay, and make sure that you are tracking your cycles so that this cannot happen because this does feel like a potent month for you, September. As we're transitioning into the um, fall equinox, this is like this is a shift, okay, so this could be, there could be a major shift in your life, okay, we're currently in Mercury retrograde, Uranus has also gone, re gone retrograde, Mercury, Mercury will be going direct September 15th, okay, so this is a time of reflection here, but you are definitely headed towards blessings and happiness, this is why I feel whatever this is that you're working on with someone, there is happiness, there is bliss and peace on the other side of this as well, okay, so, um, like I said, this could be a new relationship or a new romance, but you're going to find a lot of joy and happiness that it's coming up. That's where you're headed this this month, okay, which is a very peaceful energy um, as opposed to some of the energy that some of you have been in in the past um, couple months here, okay? So, blessings are on the way. Um, make sure you're setting intentions to bring in good energy into your life. The Eight of Cups is coming towards you here. We have, um, this is travel, this could also be relocation, like I said, for some of you, maybe moving somewhere, but this all, this Eight of Cups, this is a lot of watery energy here, watery um, and analytical energy here with the swords, but this Eight of Cups is um, definitely you walking away from something, and probably possibly because some of you just have a lot going on um, right now, and maybe some of you are not feeling as important, or there are certain things in your life that are not as important to you right, right now, and you'd rather just move away and take care of yourself because you may have been in a place of feeling a bit disappointed or withdrawn from something, whether this is withdrawn from work or a relationship here, okay? So I feel like some of you are going to get to the point where you're going to reach a limit and you're just kind of, you're going to leave something behind that is not serving you because you're in a place of peace and happiness, which I love that, okay? So if it doesn't serve you, let it go, all right? So that is what's coming towards you. What's happening around you is the Seven of Swords energy here. Okay, well, someone could be sort of watching you. Okay, so someone is watching your moves, sort of seeing what you're up to. I do feel like this is more in a close proximity. So someone that you're dealing with, okay, could um, be watching you or you could be watching someone as well. Um, but it feels very... Um, cunning and, and and sort of sneaky okay so that manipulative energy is another another aspect another trait of 
um, that other side of you here, Cancer. So make sure that you're not falling into that manipulative behavior or you're not being influ influenced by outside sources to, to really uh, to be in this manipulative energy here, okay? Your advice, the Six of Wands energy is here. Your advice for this month here is to... Um, is this energy is is to really step into this energy of success and being rewarded and feeling accomplished so it feels like you're letting go of things that no longer serve you and you're really taking this um, phase that we're in this mercury retrograde phase this moon energy uh, or i mean sorry this this planetary energy and um, really working with this energy and just sort of releasing this feels like a month of release and and it's it's i feel like you're on track here cancer because we are going into the fall equinox towards the end of the month and this is a transition where things fall away right the fall equinox things are falling away all right so this is um this energy of really just focusing on victory and winning and um you know taking your life to the next level okay it feels like that's what your focus is your final outcome we have the three of pentacles you guys are going to be in this place of feeling supported collaborating with people whether this is in work or in a relationship if this is this does pertain to a relationship this is why the hierophant energy came out um seeking counsel so working with other people having a facilitator um but not just sitting around being in your head and um doing things that moving moving the same way that you have been moving okay if you're still moving in those old habits things are not going to be working out for you but if you're moving in a new energy you're you're letting things go you're seeing a bigger picture you're being more open-minded here cancer there is going to be a lot of accomplishment here for you okay this three of pentacles this is also opportunities to create uh, financial stability as well but i do overall feel like it is a coming together okay so let's pull a spirit message for you to um find out what to expect here for the month of september here one message for cancer please we have the energy is gaining momentum okay the energy is gaining momentum momentum for you is what you can expect let me read uh the excerpt here i actually had just looked at this card before starting the reading and it popped out again i guess i manifested that for you okay so this card is a very positive omen indicating that you can create the reality you're dreaming of though it will take some work and you are not quite there yet this is a time of energies rising up. Emotions are building too. Where do you want to go and do you believe you can get there? Either you can just keep meditating and focusing on your desired outcome or you can make the courageous commitment to take more practical steps towards your goals. Whichever you decide, you are most certainly on the right track, okay? Beautiful message there, Cancer. That is your reading. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon. Give this a thumbs up if any part of this resonated with you. Leave a comment below. Would love to hear from you. I'll see you guys very soon. Enjoy the month of September. Take care, guys. Many blessings, love and light. Peace.